Yo, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can incorporate Gaussian splatting into your music videos. So let's just get right into this. Yes, man, we're back. Let's go. Let's go. And we're going to be uploading every day this month, bro. I'm hype. I'm hype. Now, I know it's October 2nd, so, you know, I didn't upload on the first. Sue me. For the rest of the month, we uploaded, baby. Let's go. Let's go. This is the Gaussian splatting plugin. This is not sponsored, but I'm doing a new thing where I'm going to be trying out a ton of different plugins. I'm going to be buying them and trying them out for you guys. This one seems worth it. I think it looks pretty cool. And so, obviously, before you start, you guys need something to capture your 3D footage, which is super easy to do. So this is using the Luma AI company's Luma 3D app. I literally just stood in my kitchen and filmed this 3D footage of Ezio. You just have to walk around a circle and make sure that you catch all the parameters that it's asking you to catch. And I would have, you know, had someone to film me, but no one was around the other day when I was filming it. So I just decided to use Ezio. Shout out to Assassin's Creed fans. So let's import it into After Effects. It's actually super easy to import into After Effects. So once you film your 3D footage for your Gaussian splatting, you want to export it as a splat file. You'd think you'd want to use an OBJ file for After Effects, but you actually don't want to use that. You also don't want to use the PLY sequence. You want to use the splat file. Okay. So in After Effects, first thing we're going to do, we're going to right click down here, create a new solid and make that any color. And I'm just in a 1920 by 1080 composition right here. So right over here, this is my splat 3D object file. And this is GS underscore Ezio. So it'll, it'll have like GS and then an underscore and then whatever you named the file. So you'll just literally drag it in here and then it's going to show up as this little box. You want to make sure that's on top of your solid layer. Just go ahead and make that invisible for now, or really it doesn't matter. And then you're going to want to add on the Gaussian splatting plugin on this solid layer. You're going to open up your model one drop down and then set it to the Gaussian splatting PLY file and boom, it's going to bring it up just like that right there. And now in transform, you can start to, you know, animate this however you want to. And then nice thing is it, it does a really good job of updating in real time which i appreciate from plugins so that's the first major green flag now transform z rotation we can move it up and down but probably a better way to do this would be to create a new camera layer and then set it to a two node camera and then if you want to change this camera or any of the settings just do Control shift y to bring it back up and same with your solid layer Control shift y that's just like a nice keyboard shortcut that you guys need to know and then if you go if you go up here you guys can now rotate around with using these three parameters right here so this is scale you can scale it out like this as far out as you want you guys can see the, the god view of my apartment and basically what you want to do now is oh, dude this looks sick so you guys can start like animating this in if you guys want to do like the 3d orbit animation or whatever and yes as you guys can see here i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of flexing i did lay out the merchandise in the background i got some lucky charms captain crunch and some uncrustable pb and j sandwiches this is how we roll in my crib and if you guys knew how dirty that microwave was in there you guys would unsubscribe so but that's not even the cool part all right so but when we go in here if you go to the effects drop down there's a bunch of different effects we can use now my favorite is the splat displacement and the I, I believe it's splat scale and then you can also adjust the the what's it called the color grading but obviously you know i'm not stupid I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go into a splat displacement and enable splat displacement. This is the second coolest effect. But if I go to a side view here. Also, dude, by the way, does this not look fucking sick? Does Ezio not look absolutely amazing here? Okay, I'm going to go to, let's see, let's go to that side view. And then if you just 
increase the displacement Ooh, look at that bro look at that and you can keyframe this in to get some like really cool weird shit look at that bro look at this look at that little sim bro man i love particle sims i love weird stuff like this that's right up my alley bro type shit okay then you can also bring it in the negative space so if you guys want to create you know this he's kind of getting sucked into the warp right there type shit okay so yeah let's bring that back to normal then you can also displace <laughs> look at that bro i'm creating like this spiral he's getting sucked into the warp through like general grievous's vehicle <laughs> Okay, let's 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 do some yeah, all these stars. The fact that I have an action figure is why I'm single. Alright, let's go. Let's do displacement Z. Okay. So this is gonna push it in the Z space. Okay, another thing like that. Now there's a way where you can like push it forward. I gotta figure out. Okay, displacement Y is cool because it makes like a vortex around him. So, anyways, yeah, you guys can like play with those however you guys want let's let's try out okay yeah yeah yeah. see there we go see so it's this one displacement of of and you guys can push it to the side keyframe that in or push it forward backwards you know obviously but this is the coolest effect that i'm about to show you guys if you guys i think it's splat scale if you enable this yeah there we go and then, so first off, you guys can do this. Where you, where you guys, this is another cool particle sim, in my opinion. You guys can bring it down and then have it, you know, up here. And then you guys can also, you know, get that ethereal glow effect. Keyframe that in to get some cool effects. These are your keyframes right here if you're a noob. And then it is scale shape size. Yeah, this one. So you guys want to keyframe this in and out. Now, I didn't even do this on purpose, but this literally looks like when you load into Assassin's Creed, this is what it looks like in the newest one. So, you know, a little pat on the back to me for doing that. Shout out to JMO, bro. Honestly. Um, okay, then you can enable noise. Okay, see, I haven't even played with a lot of this shit. But, so obviously, you know, if you guys want to use this for music videos, you guys wouldn't film a little action figure on your kitchen counter. You would film, you guys would film an actual human being with this shit. And you guys can create 3D thingamajigs with anything. You can literally create gauge and splatting files with absolutely anything. And if you guys go on the app that I, I told you about at the beginning, you guys can see like all of the crazy examples that people have made. You can also do it with drone footage, which is cool. I don't know how to do it, but... I'm sure there's a bunch of tutorials out there on how to so yeah like i said you know you set the keyframes are simple if you don't understand how they work you just set a keyframe noise amplitude at 1000 and then you can bring it later in your clip and then bring it to zero and then as you guys can see you're gonna create that shit you know and just play with this you know there's a ton of other other stuff in here so splat color let's let's enable this okay so this you guys can use to create more sims and more different cool effects you guys can use this as like a matte layer for certain shit but I, I won't really go into that that's a little bit more complex and boring in my opinion depending on who you ask it's not boring an easy way to set keyframes like for example i think this would work if i if i want to start right here okay and then i go to my camera and i set all of these keyframes and then i go over and then I use this bastard again, and I just, you know, go, you know, want to go around Ezio like that. We're going to now get this animation like this. Look at this, bro. Look at this dog. And so you guys can use this to make really, 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 really cool effects for music videos. Like, seriously. Using these tools up here, it makes keyframing a fucking joke, bro. This shit's easy. It's easy, bro. It's easy. It looks complicated. I, don't, I didn't even look at any of these values. I just, I just fucking, I just did that. Clicked over here and then clicked this and then just, you know, so this shit is idiot proof. Look at that. Boom. And then, and then now you have a nice animation. Obviously you can make that faster. You could have this swing in, you know, and I, I haven't even spent any time on this at all. If I spent some time on this, I would make some crazy shit, but I'm not going to cause I'm a lazy bastard. 
I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Please make sure to check out my website. I spent two years making really high quality assets that are gonna help you greatly on your editing journey. All right, I'm out this bitch. Appreciate y'all boys. Peace out.